We all know our environment is precious, and that's why we have to do everything that we can to protect it and all the creatures that call it home. That's right. In fact, today is National Endangered Species Day. So we asked Abby Larico to look into some fast facts about endangered animals. She joins us now in studio to verify. Hey, Abby. Hey, guys. Good morning. So there are about 160,000 species in the world that we know of, at least, and the International Union for Conservation of Nature estimates about 40,000 of them are considered in danger of going extinct. We met a few of them at the Smithsonian National Zoo and talked to some of the experts who know them best. They are very rambunctious. Coco, Lola, and their three kids. Golden-headed lion tamarins live in family groups. And they're ready to greet yours until something more interesting appears. We try to simulate natural behaviors that they might experience in the wild. Their natural habitat in Brazil is threatened with deforestation. So here in D.C., they're tiny ambassadors for all endangered species at the zoo. We try to figure out ways we can actually get visitors up close. Much like these spider tortoises over in the Reptile Discovery Center, where they are safe from the illegal animal trade harming their population. Their shells are very, very beautiful. It took a moment to get this interviewee out of his shell, but spider tortoises don't get out much at all. These tortoises have very small home ranges in the wild. It's like, you know, two to three square feet. Another endangered species, coral, lives in one place for, well, not quite forever, but in some cases, thousands of years. Fish, shrimp, fish eggs, everything chopped up very finely so they can actually eat it. Climate change means different water conditions that can bleach the coral. And whatever we do, we have to be mindful. You'll find pigment aplenty in this amphibian research room. And most of them are critically endangered. It's one of the only places in the world you'll find a Panamanian golden frog. Now this particular species has disappeared from the wild. Endangered even while eye-catching, like the orangutans hanging out 50 feet overhead. It gives them a lot of choice and control over their environment, just like they would have mm. if they were in the wild. Though because of destruction in their natural habitats, it's estimated just 100 to 130,000 live in nature. It's hard to look at an orangutan and not see similarities between them and us. All of these animals live at the zoo to assist with their conservation efforts. They are ambassadors <clears throat> for their species to help you connect with them and care about their cousins in the wild. So coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll talk more about what you can do to help these endangered species. A zoo trip not required, but you know what? Always recommend it. Back to you all. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> One of my favorite places in the city. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever exactly. we can do to help. Just hydrate if you go this weekend. Mm -hmm. Right, yes. Be careful. <laughs> uh, in fact, speaking of that, uh, we're going to go to Chester now.